What's going on, everybody? My name is Hao Vu, and this is the Hao Vu Moto Vlog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's video, quick battery install on my 2020 Honda CBR500R. I'm replacing the standard lead acid battery with a much lighter, much more environmentally friendly lithium ion battery. So the first thing I ran into a little issue the first time I tried it, I was expecting a YTZ10 model battery because that's what was listed on all the battery finders on pretty much every battery website. And I guess for the 1920 model years, they went with a smaller battery. So here I am trying to jam it in, trying to make it work. It's that moment of panic where I know it's not going to work, but I'm just, you know, trying. I don't It, it would have never worked shoving it in that way. But anyways, here we go. So the correct battery just came in. Uh, I used the battery finder on the website and they suggested a model for the YTZ10, but I think the 19s and 20s are using a smaller battery, the same one my CB300R used, which is the YTZ7. And it's a much smaller form factor. So I actually went through with the install the other day and then I pulled out the battery and I was like, crap, this is not gonna fit. So I reordered another one and returned the original one I bought, 240 cranking amps. It's almost like double what the stock battery has. And then we'll throw it on the scale, but it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Nothing there, just uh, some hardware, sticker, manual. The battery install on this CBR500R 1920 model year, probably all of them, was a breeze. Uh, compared to my CB300R, where I had to remove the tank cover, remove the seat, lift up the tank, and it just like removed this little holster for the battery. It was just a pain in the butt. This this was literally a walk in the park. Just removing the seat, all you need is the Allen key, that 5 millimeter Allen key, uh, Phillips screwdriver, and, and that's literally it. So after you remove the seat, it's just right there for you, and you just take your Phillips screwdriver and you undo the... Um, the terminals. I think you're supposed to do a certain end first. I think positive first, disconnect positive first. So I, I think I did that. Um, I don't know how, how you're supposed to reconnect them. I don't, I think I just reconnected them. However, I saw fit. It, it ended up not, you know, electrocuting me and ruining my motorcycle. So that was good. Um, I had the new correct battery come in and uh, it took two days to ship to me. And, you know, like I said, I have these two little wires for the battery tender that are just extra they're very easy they just attach on there um, just in between the screw and you know the actual battery terminal itself so that's just a little extra piece of it and I get my USB charging done through there but yeah so the only thing I would say is the battery that I ordered it was a little shorter than the um, OEM batteries so I needed to put two little pieces of plastic at the bottom to kind of raise it up a little bit I mean it drops in there nice and, and nice and fine every every other dimension is perfect on that anti-gravity battery that I chose, but the the clamp, the little clasp, it's a rubber thing, it kind of stretches, and when I dropped the new battery in, you know, it was very loose, so if I were to go on over a bump or something, the battery would most likely jump up, and, uh, you know, is it the end of the world? Probably not, but I just didn't want that to happen, so I just threw some plastic down there. You could use foam in a pinch, really, really, really anything to cover that space, but if you get a certain battery um, from them, it might come with um, the little risers. So I chose this battery because it has 240 cranking amps. They also offer a cheaper version on their website that has 120, which is the exact same amount as the stock battery, which is fine. You know, you're probably not going to be able to tell the difference whatsoever. But that one has their restart technology, which means that when the battery drops to a certain level, it just completely kills itself so that it has enough juice remaining to restart itself to jump start itself and all you have to do is press a button on the battery and then you can get jumped so that's a kind of neat uh thing if you're ever in that situation so you know definitely check out anti-gravity batteries if you guys are interested in saving some weight maybe doing a little bit better for the environment and you know just having technology that's more modern in the motorcycle but you know overall it's not that big of a deal i just it's just something that i like to do it was not necessary by any stretch of the imagination so that's it, guys. Pretty simple thing here. I'm probably just going to put up some music and then uh, call it a day. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.